Hi everyone, this is Carolina and welcome to another Seasonal Saturday. Today we're going to transform a plain gift bag into a themed gift bag. We're going to go ahead and start off with the little holder, the candy holder I have in the front. And basically what I did was sew two pieces or a folded piece together, added some felt in the middle, the number, and um, then the it was pretty much ready to go. You want to go ahead and start with a three and a half by six piece of paper and a piece of felt. Um, pretty much a scrap would work, just something big enough to fit that uh, heart, that uh, die from Spellbinders. The scallop is what you're going to use. The scallop heart is what you're going to use for your base. A red marker, and you can use any marker, just something that has a fine um, point or tip to it, as well as um, candy. But let's go ahead and get started. You want your piece of paper folded in half so that basically you'll end up with a three um, by three and a half piece of paper. And then we're going to use on the folded end is where you're going to go ahead and align your heart. And I just kind of counted down uh, to the first scallop right below the first scallop as you're seeing me align it here. So that basically that's the one that's showing and the one at the end. When you cut it out, it'll look like this and you'll have that folded end. Okay, so it like it opens up in this way and then you just want to sew around the edges just enough so that you have a little pocket as such. Okay, now we're going to work on the felt. Cut it out with your plain heart die and then grab your pen and you're just going to add dashes. You can also sew this section if you'd like. I'm just going to go all the way around. Okay, and here I am finishing it. So you end up with something like that. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down onto your sewn um, pocket. Okay, so this is what it is. I use 14 for to signify Valentine's. You can use stickers, um, pretty much anything really. Um, so here we go. Let's start with our base, which is our bag, just plain bag. Cut out a strip of paper. You can make this as thin or as thick as you'd like. Uh, mine was about three inches wide and then the length of the paper. I left it a little longer just to make sure that I captured everything, but you can measure it to um, the inch if you'd like. I just don't mind trimming afterwards. I find it a little bit easier than cutting it too short. You can always take away, but it's harder to add. So anyways, turn it around and uh, just cut that off. Oh, and by the way, I think, I believe I got my bag at uh, the container store, in case you're wondering. Um, so that's that. Okay, next thing we're going to work on is going to be the sentiment, and it's at the bottom. I'm using uh, this, uh, it's a beaded uh, rhinestone sentiment suite. You can stamp if you'd like. Um, if you've never worked with these, they're already glued. There's already glue on the back. So I just kind of like to peel as I, as I set it down and just kind of like slowly take the backing away. That way you're not getting um, your letters all tangled up. Okay, they're easy, easy to fix, but just in case, I, I just like to do it that way. Okay, so that's that. Now we're going to add a piece of um, trim or you can also use tool, you can also use ribbon. I just I like this little lace trim that I found. And the best way to put these down, you can sew it actually if you'd like onto that piece of um, pattern paper and then put it down, but I also use double-sided tape and it works just as well. Okay, and then just remove the backing. So you see me do there and place it down and then use your scissors to trim it on the other end. Let's strain the bow really quick, okay? And then just trim. Now, for the middle of the bow, I wanted to add a flower, add a little bit of glue um, to the back of it. I used the hot glue gun, and then just press it down and fix, um, fix your bow so it looks nice and fluffy. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add that heart. And I want to add it at an angle, thought that might be fun as such. Okay, and let's go ahead and put our candy in there. You can actually put a gift card if you'd like in there as well. That could work. I just wanted to have a piece of chocolate since it is all about Valentine's. I glued down the back so it doesn't flap everywhere and then just um, put it in there. 
Okay, so our the front of our back is pretty much done. I wanted to add some tissue that um, coordinated with the holiday. So I went ahead and started stamping. I'm just going to go ahead and finish it on camera for you. A few hearts and a sentiment. And for this part of it, I'm using a scrap piece of paper underneath it because it will go through. And I'm using uh, Gina K Designs Happy Heart Set designed by Tammy. It's a really fun set. It has a bunch of hearts and different sentiments and words you can put together to create your own sentiments. So I went ahead and used Happy Heart and Day. For the heart, I went. I decided on the one that's like a it's little red circles with hearts in the middle, and then just red ink. Also from uh, Memento, I believe it's Ladybug Red, and then just random, no signs to it, no measuring. Just wherever I saw space, I stamp. You can do as much or as little as you'd like. Then for the Happy Heart Day, which I thought was so cute, Happy Heart Day, um, versus Happy Valentine's Day, it's just something different. Black ink again to kind of coordinate back to the bag. I don't know if you've seen these, but this tissue paper at the store, like $7.99, when they're like, you know, when they're themed like this, well, you can make your own with the stamps that you already have for any occasion and any color you'd like, so just such an amazing saving. I just kind of grab my tissue from the middle and um, so you're seeing me do here. Let me grab my bag, open that up and then just kind of tuck in your gift and then I like to put my tissue on top of it just to, I didn't put anything in yet but just to give you an idea and then just stuff it in the middle and then with that you're done. You're ready to go. Just ready to buy your gift. Put it in there and it's all themed and pretty and you saved yourself tons of money by just using the stamp sets you already have at home. So I hope you have fun making this. As always, let me know if you have any questions um, or comments. Thanks so much for joining me. Mm -hmm.